Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic Kai Seas ocean surface in Blender 2.8 using EV as render engine. Here you can see how the scene looks before the final render using just the real time engine. We are looking through the camera view and the most important part to uh, give a realistic look is choosing the right environment as the surface of the sea, uh, the color of the surface of the sea is given by the reflection in our setup. So all you can see it's the sky um, and the sea color which is the reflection of the sky. So choosing the right HDRI it's paramount. Here are the settings of uh, EV as usual ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflection, depth of field. This is the HDRI that I'm using that you can see um, it's a 360 image of course and here is my geometry. There's really not much, it's a, a plane, um, four vertexes and one face really, so two uh, triangles and nothing more than that. It's very simple, very light on the system. Here are the setting of the camera. It's 20 millimeter wide angle lens. And of course, uh, I have the focus distance at around 80 uh, meter roughly. You have to uh, find adjust by uh, trial and errors really. Here is the f-stop um, value I used. And don't forget to enable depth of field in the EV settings. And here is the simple shading network I use for this material. It's a principal shader with basically no roughness at all. It's completely reflective. You can increase it depending on the effect you want, but I like to be on a very bright day, completely reflective. There's a bump map, so a bump node, and the bump is given by this noise texture. You can see uh, the value, you can copy to uh, experiment. And I also applied a mapping node. This mapping node, it's uh, basically what helped me to animate the surface. So I wanted the sea to be slightly moving. Um, so changing the location of the map, you can basically animate the surface. A little bit of animation will help make things a bit more realistic. Here you can see changing the HDRI to another image change completely the look of um, our scene and we can go with something more dramatic for example. Uh, this HDRI are available on HDRI Haven website. Uh, they are free, they are great stuff. And you can see that really you can change fast the look of your scene changing just the HDRI without touching any of the um, settings. There's no transparency in this setup. Uh, for something more like a shallow water, um, you want to work with probably cycles instead of EV. Uh, the transparencies in EV are not the best at the moment. There's some uh, difficulties with refraction. Changing to any HDRI, even the HDRI included with Blender, will give you a completely different uh, look. Here you can see a lake scene, for example just changing the HDRI to the one included in Blender or you can have like a sunset. It's very easy, the sea it's always be the same object with the same settings and the look of the sea it's given by the environment. Don't forget to enable Bloom if you want to achieve this uh, glow, glare uh, on the surface of the water which will give so much more realism to the scene. There's another way to quickly create an ocean in Blender which is an, an ocean with three dimensions so it's not just a flat surface but it's a 3D um, object. It's a modifier called Ocean, lets you 
uh, create um, a very big uh, surface and animate the surface. I'm going to uh, go very fast through the settings now. Uh, it's for a completely different tutorial and you can achieve something more like uh, like a stormy sea for example but if you look in the bottom of, of the screen in the bottom right of the screen you can see that how many faces needed to create this scene how many trees to create this scene so the scene is much heavier the good part is that you can animate the 3d object animating the time that means that you have waves that go up and down as the real waves with the previous technique it was meant mainly to animate flat surfaces very calm scene this is more for stormy or wavy kind of um, scene uh, again same uh, rule for the material i'm going to apply something completely reflective and i'm going to choose a, a good hdri to show you um, the the final look of this kind of sea it's it's very good if you have a close-up for example and you want that extra uh, touch of realism let's try now with a different HDRI and you can see how different the scene looks like is it probably not always the best choice um, I, I still believe that the variety of having a flat surface with the noise texture is much closer to the reality um, mainly because the geometry in 3d is repeated in the, in our object and and when you see and when you look at the sea from a distance you see the repetition while a finer noise texture uh, will give you a much more uh, realistic kind of um, effect but again with bloom you can you can have very good close-up images and changing the hdr will give you a completely uh, different um, environment yes I said that so many times but I'm pretty sure that some of you will will ask yeah but how how did you change the light just change the HDRI and everything will change uh, completely there's no color in the sea in in this with this technique there's no color it's just um, a plain reflective surface working with the environment reflection I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please leave a comment below if you have any question or if you want to request one of the next topic for a tutorial please subscribe to my channel to keep it alive and ciao see you soon